hello guys welcome back to bass kicks in today's video i'm going to show you how to bypass frp on itel itel a16 plus so this is the phone first you need to switch off your phone this is itel a16 plus so you need to connect your phone with your SIM card. So once your phone is connected with your SIM card, just go on and insert your battery. <laughs> then switch on your phone. So, so once your phone is on, just go ahead and tap on start. Then here you'll need to connect your phone to Wi-Fi. So once the phone is connected, just give it time to connect. So just give it time to check for updates, it won't take long. Then once you are here, just tap on set as new. So checking for info. And here you will be asked to verify your password or use your Google account instead. So if you forgot all of this now you need to go back just go back to start right then once you're here just tap on emergency call and on emergency call just double tap on emergency information right then here tap on pencil icon in the top right corner then next here tap on add contact now as you can see the permission is denied so this method won't work so what you need to do just go back again on start screen then we need not to change some languages so you need to be very very careful when following these steps so i'll just change the language to the third last language this one right here right just tap on it and the language will totally change so what you need to do what you need to do next just tap on this yellow yellow button right here so here you need to be very very keen and uh, then next tap here and give it time then once you're here just long press on web icon right down here right then when these pop options pop up, just tap on the last option down here. Next, tap on down here. Uh -huh. So next, scroll down and tap on any option. Just follow every step I'll be showing you. Next, I'll tap here. Then next, tap on these three dots in the top right corner. Then again, tap down here. Right. So your screen will come up to be like this. So I even don't understand this language. So the next thing you need to do, tap on this first option right here. Right. So once you're here, tap on share icon. Then these options will pop up. We have Gmail and Google Go. Just long press on Gmail. Right. Then tap on the second option right so once you're here just tap on the first option or let's check tap on the last option no let's go back uh -huh. just tap on the first option right here then next scroll down and tap on the last option right here then here you are now on add account 
right then tap on the second option right now you're here now you need to add a google account but don't tap on google just tap on exchange this is the last option is called exchange then he will be asked to enter your email address so just tap on web icon and your keyboard will change to english just tap once right then type in any email address right abaha patrick uh, at gmail dot com so the next thing you need to do after typing in your email address you need to tap on this option not this one this one right here right just tap there then next tap on exchange uh -huh. you'll be asked to enter your password just type anything right you don't need to be accurate just type anything then go back then you need to tap on this uh, option right here and then next tap on the second option on your right here then here you'll be asked to set your pin remember this phone was asking us to verify our password but we don't know our password right so here we need to set a new pin so just tap on pin then go ahead and tap or just type anything for me i'll just enter one one two two as my new pin then next again verify your pin 1122 then confirm right so once you are done just tap here then go back right go back go back to start right once you are on the start screen just change your language back to english right then you are now start right next tap on setup as new then here will be asked again to verify your pin now remember the pin we set right it was 1122 right 1122 right then next then on google account just skip then again skip right on the name just go next then on google and stamps and services accept uh, here no thanks just a second and your phone will be unlocked so guys it's that simple so thank you so much for watching if you found it useful please don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next video